Hello viewers and appreciate you watching. Today we're at our shop hooking up a truck we're going to carry over to uh, the KW dealership. And I'm going to use a, a different technique we got. We don't use it a whole lot, but just to show you how it works and also uh, show Shane how it works. So that's the kingpin attachment. Go ahead and fold your wheel lift down, Shane. How you engage it on this truck? Mash your clutch and power take off right here. Probably gonna want to um, back on up a little bit. Hit the um on the right by where you put your PTO in. There's a little um switch that says controls. Hit that. Take that side there off the pin. Flipping. No, that comes to me. Put your end caps on. Hook part up. Yeah, hook part up. See what just to keep that thing from rotating right now. I'm gonna put this back in there. Just don't let me forget to take it out. Alright. You need your um your pin off your fifth wheel plate to uh put all this together. I say you some of these rear ends they hard to hook to on forks and all and like this one you'd have to which you could fork this one but you know i'm just showing you just another tool in your box to use so you need that big heavy piece Now we need the kingpin attachment. Just 
hangs right up under it, just like that. Okay, now pick up, boom out, and push it right in the uh, fifth wheel plate there. Just pick the boom up. All right, tilt it back down a little bit. All right, out. Be close. Now drop it down. All right, out. Yeah. All right, suck in just a little bit. All right, back up. Suck in just a little bit. Try to get this back straight. A little bit more. All right. And now I got to drop the airbags on the truck. Let that down where it's flush on the fifth wheel. Boom up and then up and tilt it down. All right, down. All right. Pull it in a little bit more. Should have two three eighths chains up here. The other rear is laying in the bottom on the left hand side. Make sure it's not gonna hit any wires or anything. Yeah, S-cam rods and all. See if you can throw it to me up here. weight we're tightening up in a minute but you want all your weight on your chains i got to get two chain binders
Good morning, Troy. Good morning, sir. Well, Y'all got to tow this one? Yeah, it's going to KW over in Columbia. this right here in it but just sometimes it's good to have extra you know other tools and all got to hook our um, safety chains up, tie the steering wheel, and put lights on it. So um, we want to hang the lights and uh, steering wheel strap. I've already got it tied, but I like to have um, two, uh, two points of securement.
back through your checklist. You got that strap down good. Safety chains, lights, steering wheel tied twice. Um, that should be about it. So we don't have to have the airlines on this one. Nope. You gotta have nothing. Make sure your hood strapped down good. And uh, walk around and check your fender fairings. Make sure they own none of them's cracked or nothing. You ever seen fender fair and strap? You hadn't seen that yet? Alright. I'm gonna hop up there and I'll walk you through this too. Take a C-clamp, put it on the top side, yep. How tight they gotta be? Pretty, I mean, stick them in there pretty good because we're on a ratchet strap between both of them, mm -hmm. and that'll help um, support them going down the road. Yeah, it's one of it's two parts, so you just want to catch top and bottom. Just take the two ratchet straps and run from top to bottom and bottom to top. And strap them together. Like I say, you don't want to pull in, you just want to get them snug. Okay, viewers, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and if you like our content channel, please subscribe. And as always, stay safe out there, and we'll catch you on the next one.